Hey guys, my name is Haya. I'm here today to talk to you about uh, one of the most high-tech space-age things you can possibly imagine when it comes to taking photos. That is high-speed flash synchronization. It sounds a bit geeky, but bear with me and prepare to be amazed. Now in your SLR camera you have a sensor. This sensor needs a particular amount of light to create a correct exposure that measured in fractions of a second called your shutter speed. Now the way this is controlled is by a set of shutter curtains. When you press the shutter button, the uh, first curtain moves out of the way and then it stays open for the amount of time you've dialed in, like a hundredth of a second. When the exposure is done, the second shutter curtain moves across to close again. Together they move back to be ready for the next photo. But hey, wasn't this meant to be about flashes? Right, let's see what happens if we add in a flash and try to save again. When we're talking about flash sync, the shutter speed starts becoming important, so let's add that into the mix and Try the first exposure at a 60th of a second. So the first curtain will move out of the way, the flash fires briefly, and then the second shutter closes again. As an aside, you may have heard of first curtain or second curtain um, flash sync. That is basically um, whether you want the flash to fire when the first shutter first opens or just before the second shutter closes. Anyway, now that we have a firm grasp of how um, shutter sync works, let's have a look at what happens when we up the speed a little bit. At really fast shutter speeds, what actually happens is that the first curtain starts moving, but before it makes it all the way across, the second shutter starts moving as well. So there's actually a small gap between the two shutters, which together makes the exposure. Right, now, let's first take a quick look at what happens when we fire the flash normally. The curtains move together, but there's only a small gap between them. So when the flash goes off, only a small part of your sensor is correctly exposed. Instead of letting that happen, the camera manufacturers came up with something clever. What if, instead of a single flash, the flash would strobe the entire duration of the exposure? That might sound a little bit nuts, but remember that we're talking about very, very fast shutter speeds here. So the flash would only have to pulse for, say, a thousandth of a second. So instead of doing one bright flash, it does a hundred tiny flashes, uh, which means that the entire frame gets the same amount of light throughout the entire exposure. Now, I don't know about you, but if you're a little bit of a photography geek, you have to admit, that is pretty cool. 